In this video, I'm going to show you how to email all of your students or individually email your students. So in our email program, you can't type in a student's name and see their email automatically appear unless you put that email into your contacts. So this is a lot of work for teachers to do when there is already a program that has all of your students uploaded into your contacts and all you need to do is to click on a button and email them directly. So I'm going to show you how to email your students straight from Google Classroom. So if you click on the students tab within your classroom and then you scroll down a little bit, I have all these students in my classroom already. I can click this button which will allow me to select all the students in the class and I can take an action. I can email them. When I email them, a new page comes up, and it's actually emailing from the school account, even though it looks like it's Gmail. The only caveat to this is that any emails that you send through this method will only live in archives under when you go to gmail.com itself. It will not live in your sent folder from Outlook Web Outlook. The application that we use for our email. But it easily populates uh, all of the students in your class in one place. You can also alternatively email individual students, which is perhaps more likely since you probably don't really need to email all students. If you've got Google Classroom, it essentially generates an email for them. If you click on these three buttons, three uh, dots right here, you can email that student directly and the same thing will happen. It will open up an email and it will be only to that particular student. You can also click on more than one student and then take an action from here to email them. And it will pick just those students. It's a short video that shows you how you can email your students through the Google Classroom.